I want to welcome you back to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaga Diamond. I am so excited about this show. It's a little bit different today. So you can get us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, TuneIn, Deezer, Vimeo, Roku. Please follow us on YouTube, Dream Chasers Radio, as well as on all of our different places that we have available. Please follow and subscribe. We're on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. You know, I really am excited about this next show. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. And this is a show with me, a show that I wanted to kind of impart with you guys. And I I normally don't do that a lot. And I wanted to kind of get this out to you and, and to kind of impart my thoughts on Dream Chasers Radio, on who we are, how many people we've had on the show. And I'm excited because we've had so many different wonderful suggestions by people who have come on the show. And I want to kind of go through that with you. Today's a day to kind of focus on you and me, of course, because I'm here with you. The way that we should go about doing things in our lives, maybe we want to change. Me personally, I am always trying to be positive, always trying to look at the positive aspect of things, the things that I've learned, being grateful, um, counting my blessings, really. And I'm just excited about it because to me, failure is not really failure. Failure is just a way to actually take in the lessons. So that way you're learning and experiencing and improving not only on your life, but on maybe your projects, your businesses, your goals, your your dreams, your aspirations. So today we're going to talk about a couple of different things. And I wanted to kind of go over the five things that I think we should all do to improve our lives. Okay, so number one, face your fears. That's the biggest thing. We all have these fears in ourselves of failure, of I'm not good enough of maybe if I did try, I would just fail anyway. So might as well not try. So facing your fears, it could be a simple fear, like a fear of heights or a fear of, uh, I don't know, spiders. Not that you would face your fear of spiders or heights right away, but that you would gradually face it by going at it and by accomplishing smaller goals to reach the big goal. So, I mean, it's like, it's like anything in life. We have to face our fears and our fears tell us, you know, that's too much money. And again, I'm not trying to tell you to spend a lot of money on whatever you're trying to accomplish. But what I am saying is it's always good to take smaller steps towards your bigger goal to give yourself a pat on the back when you accomplish something small, because that's going to help when, you know, you and I get to the bigger goal, we're going to get there little by little by little. And so facing your fears It's going to be the first thing I think that's going to actually be the best thing that we could do for ourselves, for our businesses, for our families, and for our lives. Face our fears is the first thing that would improve our lives. Number two, admit our mistakes. Oh yeah, this is a big one because when I make a mistake, I don't always admit it. (laughs) I'm not kidding you. I don't always admit my mistakes. Um, I like to cover them up, blame someone else, maybe, you know, um, or just say, hey, you know, it was what it was or it is what it is. And I just move on. I don't admit 
my mistakes. But lately I've been trying to curb that and actually trying to take baby steps to admit that, yeah, that was bad. (laughs) that wasn't good. So, you know, admitting our mistakes, admitting the things that we know we did, that we did, you know, we, we know we did it. Okay. And admit, Hey, that was my mistake. My bad you know, and try to correct it. You know, we're facing our fears by admitting our mistakes as well, because it's scary. I mean, think about it. You know, you get to someone, you're with your business partner, or you're with your loved one, you're with your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, whatever the case may be. And you made a mistake and you don't want to admit it because maybe it would risk your losing this person. Maybe it would risk your uh, losing your job. So what do you do? How do you admit your mistake? That's a hard one. But I think that in the long run, we learn when we do admit our mistakes. Now, I'm going to do a disclosure. I am not trying to tell you to go tell your husband or your wife that you cheated on them yesterday or whatever you did it or that you really didn't write that proposal at work that such and such did it. I'm not telling you what to do. But what I am saying is that the first goal is to face your fear. And the second one is to admit the mistakes that we've made and to own up for it. So that is in your hands and not mine. I'm not telling you what to do. But these are just things to make our lives better. If we want to better our lives, if we want to live the truth, if we want to live in truth and not be in fear of, oh, what did I say yesterday? I kind of got to go along with what I said yesterday, even though it was, you know, not true. I can't remember what I said yesterday. Oh my gosh, last week I did tell them that, didn't I? And that's not true. So just things like that, you know, admitting our mistakes uh, or trying not to cover up the things that we know we did wrong. So that's kind of scary too. So that's a fear and a mistake. So that's number two, admitting our mistakes. Number three, ask for wisdom. Now, this is kind of, you know, it's, I I kind of put it under the category of law of attraction because we're asking for wisdom. We're asking for the wisdom to understand the things that we can and uh, to just kind of let go of the things that we don't. And I know you've heard that so many different times, but so many people want to control things. You know, we want to be in control. And a lot of times we can't, it's physically impossible It's mentally impossible to control everything. So asking for wisdom is a big thing. The law of attraction is big as well. And so I put these two on the same plane only because, you know, when we understand that we need to move forward in our lives and grasp a hold of the things that we can actually manipulate it's going to make a big difference in our lives because it'll make us happier in the long run. Uh, asking for wisdom, law of attraction, just be positive and move towards your goal little by little, little by little, asking for the wisdom to, to kind of move forward. And also, you know, asking for the wisdom to back up off of something too. think about it. There's a lot of different ways to do one thing, right? So if you're going to get from point A to point B, how would you get there? You can ride, you can rollerblade or roller skate. You can put it on a skateboard. You can get a um, one of those little scooters. You can get in a car. You can you can get on a motorbike. You can get on a motorcycle. You, I mean, there's from point A to point B. There's different ways to get there. However, which one is the best way? And that's what we have to think. the 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 understanding, the wisdom, the the asking for wisdom and deciphering what we need to do to get from point A to point B depends on how we get there. And maybe we can't roll the skate because it's a lake. So that's out of the question. Okay. So that's one thing that we know we can rule out. If it's a lake, then we can't ride our bikes. You see what I'm saying? We can't drive a car. We have to have a boat or even, uh, if it's too big, and it's too long of a way we can't get on a, you know, on a jet ski. We have to actually get on a boat boat. But if it's a really, really long way, then we can't really take a little boat. We have to have maybe like a, a yacht or a bigger boat. So all of these things 
we have to take into consideration when we're asking for wisdom because there's so many different ways to get from point A to point B, but then there are factors that are factored into it that make it impossible to do one thing. And that's how life is. And that's how business is. So a lot of times we think, oh, this is going to work. This is going to work. And it doesn't work. And we get discouraged and we stop. Don't stop. It's just that it's just like that lake that we try to cross with rollerblades. You can't do it. So you have to go back to the drawing board and figure out how am I going to get from point A to point B on a lake or on an ocean or on a river You know, there are different ways to get across. And so that's what we have to think about when we're doing this, when we're factoring in all of these things, getting across can mean success or failure. But every time we fail, we figure out that, A, that wasn't the best way to get from this point to the next point. So it's all going to be good. We're going to get there. We just have to figure out what device what method we need to get from there to point B. And that's the journey. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And not everything's going to work. Don't ever give up on it. Number four, refine your goals. So this kind of goes in with number three, asking for wisdom. So when we are refining our goals basically we're saying okay that lake that we just spoke about that we can't get on our rollerblades to go across we have to refine that we have to figure out now we have to go back to the drawing board and figure out now that didn't work so what will work so refining your goals is the way to continue with your dream don't ever give up on your dream there's always a way to get from one point to the next it might be that we don't get to point A to point B. We might get to point A, point one, and then there's A, point two, A, point three, then B. You see what I'm saying? So we have to refine our goals. It might be that the goal is way too big. There are too many steps in between that we missed. We got to go back and get those steps. You see what I'm saying? So refining our goals is a way to ask for wisdom, is a way to admit our mistakes because we're going to make mistakes in business. We're going to make mistakes in life. We're going to make mistakes, okay? And we're going to face this fear. So all of these things coincide with each other. Don't be afraid afraid to make a mistake, admit it, ask for wisdom and refine the goal. And that all works into one. And number five is the biggest thing of all. It's the one thing that if you don't have, you'll never, ever, ever succeed at. It's believe in yourself. Believe that you can. Believe in the possibility that you may be smarter than what you really think you are. And that you can do this. If you set out to do something, believe you can do it. That's going to be the biggest thing. Because if a person doesn't believe that they can do something, then they won't accomplish it. So yeah, there's a little bit of a conceit in it. You know, you have to believe that this is the thing that you're supposed to do. This is the way it's supposed to be done. Or we can refine it and do it a different way. But no matter what, I believe I can. And that's going to be the number five thing. Now, of course, I haven't come on here a lot. And I have so much that I do between, you know, YouTube and Vimeo, Roku and Amazon Fire, as well as right here on all of the podcasts, iTunes and Google Play and Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, tune in all of you guys. I love you all. And I want you to succeed. And so take these five things that can change our lives, you and me both. And I'm going to go over it one more time. Number one is face your fears. Number two, admit your mistakes. Number three, ask for wisdom And also I put in there the law of attraction. Number four, refine your goals because we always have to kind of go back to the drawing board and see what will happen and what works now in retrospect to work what worked then. Okay. And believe you can do it. Number five. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, guys, I think you can. I believe you can. I, I, I totally believe in you. I thank all my guests for being on the show. If you want to be on the show, uh, please go ahead and email me 
And the email is tv at yayadiamond.com. And I'll let you know how you can be on the show. Um, also, please join me on YouTube. Go ahead and like and subscribe to that page and go look at the videos there. I'm trying to raise a thousand uh, subscribers uh, so we can actually be, become monetized. I'm just not going to lie to you. That's my goal right now is to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So please also go there as well as we have our Vimeo Yaya Diamond TV and Roku Yaya Diamond TV and Amazon Fire Stick which is also Yaya Diamond TV. So subscribe to everything and view everything. I'm going to have different content up going up from from now and again because I do have a lot of guests but there'll be times where I come on to talk to you guys and please comment below and let me know what you're thinking and I would love to hear from you so if you have any comments if you want to join us on Facebook on Dream Chasers Radio please do I I admonish you I just I say please 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 join us wherever you can and I want to thank you again so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio with me your host Yaya Diamond and those are my five ways to change your life thank you again so much for tuning in and don't forget to what always believe in yourself and dare to be different all right guys bye I dare to be different. I dare to be different.